What is a stereotype you hate about Philippines? Hmm. That uh, that we always lose in soccer, even though like you know it's partially true, but like it sucks. <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Hanan. I'm Peruvian Japanese from my mom's side and Lebanese from my dad's side. All right, so my name is Herman and I'm Peruvian American. Hello, my name is Carlos. I am Peruvian American. Hey guys, I'm Lauren. I'm from Peru. I was born in Peru, but I only lived there until I was about three or so. My name is Alex. I'm from Peru, del Rimac. Hola, mi nombre es Guillermo y soy peruano y del Callao. Hi, my name is Claudia. I'm Peruvian American. Hola, mi nombre es Raisa y soy super peruana. Oh my god, that's such a hard one off the bat. <laughs> no, Peruvian food is like great. Uh, I would say lomo saltado though. A, whole, a good home cooked meal? Um, I would have to say pollo a la brasa, 100%. Ceviche. Papa la huancaina. Bueno, en realidad tengo muchos, pero mi favorito es la causa rellena. Mi plato favorito es el ceviche. My favorite dish is gonna have to be causa, the one with chicken, or or it would probably be tallerines verde with whatever meat that like they tend to put in that dish. What makes it better than all the other dishes? It doesn't make it better than any of the. It's just like my personal favorite. <laughs> all of the dishes in Peru are, are like amazing. <laughs> it's just the way it's like created is like different than other ways. Like most of other Peruvian foods like fried. This isn't fried, it's a different way. Uh, I guess the fact that it's like a cream. So yeah, and it comes with potato. Yeah. Um, it has to be with, you know, the papas fritas, the salad, um, your Inca cola, and for postre, like a good torta helada. Yo no diría que es mejor, sino que a mí me gustan mucho los insumos tan peruanos que contiene esta comida, como el ají amarillo, la papa, que es muy peruana, tenemos mucha diversidad, pero en realidad esa es mi favorita. Eh, nací en el Callao, así que lo más cercano está el puerto y todo lo demás. Y es, le hecho, inclusive de niño, yo comía solo el pescado con el limón y nada más. If I'm eating causa, I'm gonna have chicha morada. If I'm eating tallerines verdes, I'm gonna have inca cola with it. Inca cola. Nah, chicha. I'm going with chicha morada. <laughs> Where, actually, that's a good question. Is this like bottled chicha or like is this... <laughs> or is this like prep? Prep? Oh no, chicha. Yo. Inca cola. Por lo general prefiero una cerveza, pero en este caso es, escogería la chicha morada. I would have to say Inca cola, but you know, after the meal you need like a good cusqueña. <laughs> chicha morada. Got to go with chicha morada. Nah, chifa. <laughs> Straight up chifa. <laughs> Um, I feel like there's more variety behind it. Like, pollo de verdad is great and all, but I won't lie, I've gotten a little tired of it <laughs> after a while. <laughs> Chifa. It's like a combination of like chino, chino comida and peruano comida. Pollo la brasa. Pollo la brasa! <laughs> Chifa. Definitely Chifa. Pollo la brasa. Con su papa. En la crema. Pose. Arroz verde con pato. Cuy. It's the animal, yeah. <laughs> locro. I don't, I don't really like locro. Hmm, that's a hard one. Uh, I'm gonna go with maybe the pollo guisado. Like, I'm not too big a fan of that. <laughs> uh, it's just because the way my mom would make it, I guess, like, I wasn't really big of a fan. <laughs> I don't know the name of it, but it's like they stuff it in those peppers and then they put, I think it's like beef that they put inside. I've tried it a few times. It's disgusting. La chanfainita. Yo sé que muchos me van a matar por eso. No me gusta la textura del pulmón. Otra pregunta muy difícil. Bueno, podría decir el oyuquito. No es que lo odie, sino que, bueno, Muchos quizás no saben qué es el oyuquito, es un tubérculo muy parecido a la papa, pero la textura en realidad no me, no me agrada mucho, pero tampoco es que tenga un mal sabor. Gooey, it's not it. The claws, the teeth, not it. <laughs> ¿Que no tenemos dientes? Odio cuando dicen, gracias a Laura Bozo, que todos no tenemos dientes. That we all have pet llamas. 
It's not true, guys. We don't. I hate being called like, oh, are you, what are you, Mexican or something? Like, I get assumed you're Mexican. I don't like the fact that people say that Peruvians steal a lot because that's a poor re representation of what Peru is about. They really think that we from the mountains. We not. That, uh, that we always lose in soccer. Even though, like, you know, it's partially true, but, like, it sucks. <laughs> Yo, yeah, for real. <laughs> we didn't even make it to the World Cup, even though we had it. <laughs> that all of us eat guinea pigs. That's one thing I've been hearing since literally fifth grade. And every time I meet someone that like knows the tiniest bit of like stuff about Peru, it's always like, oh, you guys eat guinea pigs. Like, no, I've never tried a guinea pig. Oh my God. All right, I know our Independence Day is sometime around, oh my God, I think it's sometime around July. I know our Independence Day is sometime around July, I think, I'm just saying, July, tw July 28th, 1816. <laughs> you know what, that is a great question. And I'm gonna have to go with February 17th, 18, 84. I want to say July 23rd, the year 1895. <laughs> okay, la independencia del Perú fue el 23 de septiembre. No, mentira. <laughs> es el 28 de julio de 1821. Los estudiantes deben ir. <laughs> July 28th, 18, God knows what year. <laughs> el 28 de julio de 1821. Uh, July 28th. 1860. I want to say July 14, 1882. Oh, the llama. Okay, la, es la vicuña. It's not a llama, it's uh, the other one. An alpaca. Turkey, I think it was? I don't, I don't remember. I got it. La vicuña. Llama. The llama. No. Is, or is it alpaca? It's one of the two. <laughs> I want to say the <laughs> a llama. <laughs> I don't know. Big facts. Hundred percent sure. No. False. No, I think actually the potato originated in Ireland. Oh, oh true. La papa fue original en Perú, verdadero. False. Ica. Uh, Iquitos? Yo, I have no idea. I'm gonna just throw out a random area and just say Arequipa. Arequipa? Iquitos? I'm gonna risk it, I'm gonna say it's Arequipa. I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say Puno. Oh, that one's easy. Lima. 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 La capital is Lima. 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 Lima? Cusco, Machu Picchu. <laughs> Cusco. Uh, Cusco. Machu Picchu. Ica. Machu Picchu. La ciudad de los Incas, el Cusco. I have no idea. I've never heard of that. Uh, Arequipa. Official languages. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say three but I think it's two, because I think it's Castellano and it's, and it's Quechua. But I think there's a third one in there. I don't know why. <laughs> Tres? Okay, now we have Spanish, Castellano. Oh, we have, what's it called? Quechua, I would say three. Oof, that's a great question. There's Spanish, there's Quechua, and then there's more that I don't know of. But maybe there's seven. <laughs> El Perú oficialmente tiene el español, el quechua, aymara y los demás son muchos dialectos. Oficial tiene tres. Three main languages, Spanish, quechua, and English. They probably have two official languages, Spanish and quechua. Castellano, español y quechua. El 
Rimac, where I grew up from. But I also like visiting Miraflores when I want to be bougie, you know. My grandma's house. Because I always hear stories about things that happened at my grandma's house, like where my family grew up in. I like going by that little district, that area where the president lives and all those like little shops that you see. Yo sé que también me van a matar por esto, pero prefiero Iquitos. Machu Picchu. Like seeing Machu Picchu because it's like it's beautiful. It's and it's also like one of the few places that soon enough we won't be able to go visit anymore. <laughs> Machu Picchu, eh, la Amazonia también. Machu Picchu. Ica, soy Kenya. You know, shout out to all my people down there. <laughs> I don't want to guess something stupid because I feel like it's gonna come right to me. Columbus, that's gonna be my guess. The Spanish, the Spanish Empire. <laughs> Oh, um, crap, who was this guy's name? Oh, man, I actually forgot. I knew this one. We have like a so como peruano. Los españoles. The Incas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Um, the ink Pizarro? <laughs> España, I think. I think it's Spain. Oh, uh, okay. Um, fue uh, Francisco Pizarro. Creo. Uh, Simón Bolívar. <laughs> <laughs> um, the cuisine, the food. Like, it, tasting all of like the freshness of like the meat, the, the chicken, everything. Everything was great. The breakfast over there was great also. Playing soccer and food. My family. Mainly my mom's family, that's it. My family. Honestly, I miss them so much, but we're always like calling, like talking to each other through FaceTime, WhatsApp, you know, that's the vibes. Um, I'd miss their energy, the way they dance, talk, do everything, their foods. Family's number one over there. I love visiting my family. I miss them every single day I'm over here. Extraño mi familia, el clima, los amigos. The mornings, like when I would wake up and I would hear like the roosters. La comida y mis amigos. Nah. <laughs> nah. I'm, so like as much as I love Peru and all that stuff, I, I was born here. So like, I love, you know, New York way too much too. Although it is a fun place to be, not to the point where I move. I think maybe I would move for like six months or so, just to like explore the interior part of Peru. Not at the moment. Um, I'm currently busy here launching my career, maybe in the long run, but I don't see it happening anytime soon. Por el momento no, pero quizás cuando me jubile, si tengo muchos planes para mudarme a Peru. Definitely. Once I'm like 45 years old, I'm ready to buy a house over there. I'm ready. Por ahora no, pero en el futuro tal vez cuando me retire, estoy pensándolo. Yeah, I think I definitely would. This is something I've thought about before. I've thought about moving to Peru, like after retiring or something. I want the world to know that Peru has like a very family-oriented culture. We have a lot of culture in Peru. We have costa, sierra, y selva, so there is a lot for people to discover. It's one of the seven wonders of the world. So if you have a chance, go. That Peru isn't just South America. It's, there's more to it. It's not just like, oh, what are you, Mexican? It's like how incredibly diverse, like the different kinds of terrain we have are. Like we have Machu Picchu, and then we have cities like Lima, and then places like Ica, that's literally like a desert city. You know what I mean? It's like we have everything there. Que las personas son amables, son cariñosas. No todo es lo que dicen que, lo que venden las noticias, robos, asaltos y todo eso. I'm going to stick with what I was saying, the cuisine. I want the world to know more about our cuisine. It's not just polla la brasa that you get from across the corner or some shit like that. Los peruanos somos unas personas muy trabajadoras, muy luchadoras, que hacemos muchos sacrificios, que siempre pensamos en nuestra familia, que somos personas muy unidas, muy generosas, que ayudamos al prójimo, que somos maravillosos. Los peruanos somos todo.